So Donald Trump is really pushing a lot of companies uh, piecemeal to bring manufacturing back to the U.S. Uh, in the long run, is that good or negative for the country? It's inflationary. Uh, if, if you bring, if, if you're if you're increasing the cost of goods through tariffs, basically, if you're punishing China and uh, Mexico, for example, for what you call dumping, mm -hmm. what you're doing is saying, we don't like the fact that you're manufacturing this stuff and we don't have the jobs, but it's low-cost goods. Think of something like the apparel industry, where apparel is almost entirely manufactured overseas. overseas sure. If you put a tax, a tariff, on apparel, it's a pretty simple thing to do, but all it does is increase the cost of clothing. For the that, that, that's all it does. So uh, I think there's a real risk that the inflationary picture worsens. President Obama gives his final speech tonight. What kind of economy do you see him handing Donald Trump? Well, he's, uh, President Obama has presided over a remarkably stable GDP and inflation regime. Uh, I'm not sure he had much to do with it, but we had all of these extraordinary policies. We had negative interest rates overseas, we had zero interest rates here, we had quantitative easing of incredible amounts, and yet through all of this uh, policy variation, GDP has been 2% real almost every year. With uh, Last year, uh, 2016 is probably going to come out at 2.1. Inflation has been incredibly stable. Um, I think that the, the Trump administration will bring us a breakout of this stability. I think we're going to see uh, maybe a, a short-term bump up in economic growth. Uh, I think we're, we, we certainly see some signs of, of growing inflation. And so I, I, I really think the Fed is going to let the inflation rate go up. Um, I, I think the interest rates will rise. And my sense is that when we get to above three on the 10-year Treasury, it's going to start providing competition for an equity market with a P.E. that's above 20 on a trailing earnings basis. And so that's where I see, the, the, see sort of the trouble coming. So um, it's okay to own equities now. There's, uh, one of our favorite stocks, actually, is 21st Century Fox um, in, in the stock market. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's just a coincidence. Uh, we were talking about it at our firm uh, last week. Um, you know, it's, it's not performed well recently it's it's actually a pretty attractive stock people are worried about you know uh, unplugging and skinny bundling and all the stuff and we just don't think that that's that much of a risk for 21st Century Fox well we thank you for giving the thumbs up to Fox business <laughs> in, in our 10th year Jeffrey Gundlach.